What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are going to the California Delta. And I'm driving up there with my buddy Tim O'Connor from SoCal. It is currently 9 p.m. on Friday night. Yes, we are going up there with no practice. Yes, we are driving all the way to the Delta six hours and then launching and going to fish in day one. But hey, we're going to fish the California Delta. So either way, we're going to have a great time. We got some buddies up there that are already at the Airbnb that we're going to be staying at Saturday night. Cannot wait to fish the Delta with the American Bass Kayak Series. Iron Man, two-day event, sponsored by Hobie, presented by Hook Apparel, and I just cannot wait. I am so anxious right now. I have been planning and waiting for this day to come for a while, especially after Paris, and now we are here. So again, I'm so excited. If you guys are just joining me today, please like and subscribe. Uh, gonna be putting out a lot of content this year for tournaments. Can't wait for Tim to get here, and let's go see what we can find at the Delta. All right, guys, well, we are about to leave. It is 9.30, and my boy Tim O'Connor is came out from San Diego. He had about, what, like a two-hour drive? About two hours. Two hours, yeah. Two hours, yeah. And uh, we are loaded up and ready to hit the road. Tim, how excited are you to fish the California Delta, bro? Can't wait to get there. Have you ever been before? Uh, When I was younger. When he was younger. One time. So I know some of you guys are thinking like, man, we haven't even had any practice videos because there is no practice video because we are going with no practice. Right now we're about to literally hop in the truck, drive six hours and hop on the water, literally two hours, like get there two hours before lines in and go fishing. And that's all we could do. But anyways, I just want to bring you guys along. I want to remember this. I want to look back on this and say, man, remember that time, Tim, when me and you took first and second with no practice. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's head out there. All right, what's up guys? It is day one. We are at the Delta and I cannot wait to get out there. We got a bunch of people here. We're at Holland Marina and we're gonna go down to Cruiser Haven and see if we can find some fish. So anyways, guys, let's go get it. All right guys, launch time is at six. We're about to launch. Line's in at 6.30. All right guys, good luck. Let's go. All right, guys, well, we are almost to our first spot. We are pulling up to Cruiser Haven here in the next few minutes. That was about a 35, 40 minute run, and we have not practiced, but we'll see how, how good it is. It looks fishy. Now let's go catch the fish. So this is an area where giant boats come through, and this thing actually lifts up and allows the boat to pass. Pretty crazy. Wow. Look how fat, look at the leaderboard. Look how fat that fish is. Oh, there's one. Oh, I got one. Get in here. Yes. I can hear it flopping around. You got one. Nice. From the, from the, from the car to the deck. Wow. <laughs> oh. Chatterbait. The guy's still sleepwalking. He's got one in the boat already. So great, dude. You're so money, bro. Oh my gosh. How big is it? Like a 16, probably. Not bad, bro. Dude, I can't believe you have that big one, bro. I know right now it's leading the tournament. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, that's so awesome, bro. Alright, guys, 16 and a half chunk. And the bed fish. I'm gonna go put her back on her bed.
Get in here! <laughs> Boom. Let's go. Another good meal. Sixteen seven five. Put it back on and put it back on its bed. Little guy, but one more for a limit. All right, guys, fifth fish, 13. Time to upgrade. Let's go. <laughs> Everything looks good, day one. Yeah, buddy. I got a limit, babe. <laughs> That's crazy. I haven't really seen it too often. It's kind of rare. All right, guys. Just stuck this 19 and a half inch chunk on the chatterbait. Oh, man. What a fish. That's a delta fish right there. Let's go. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough of the new 2022 Tundra that I got over at Frank's Motor Group. So this is kind of the inside cockpit. Got some really nice like leather seats and it does have air conditioned seats, heated seats, which I use a lot of. Um, I didn't realize how much I would use the heated seats and the air conditioned seats. I've never had them before. Giant sunroof. I've always had like the SR5 package and I ended up getting the limited package this time. Some kind of cool things about the, the limited. The screen is ginormous. Like, I'm not even gonna tell you the inches on it just cause it's, it's giant. It's like, I don't know, I wanna say like 12 or 14 inches. And it's got Apple CarPlay. It's all wireless Apple CarPlay. It has a phone charger station down here, wireless. I love how they like put these little TRD symbols in there. Also the push button, which is kind of some new technology for the Tundras because my old Tundra did not have a push button and this much technology in it. This camera button right here is called the view. And if you guys press the view button, you guys could see like a whole 360 of the outside of your car, which I didn't know how much I would use again. And the more I press that button, the more I like having that feature. You can kind of see everything like on the side of you and the back of you, it just makes it really nice. Um, also, I really like this feature right here where they have a sliding access to get into the center console and then the center console is pretty big so pretty stoked on that obviously four-wheel drive have to have four-wheel drive for my for the job that i have the the rear view the rear view mirror is actually a camera so like you could go camera mode which is really nice or you could just go to like you can flip it down and go to like normal mode but it's definitely got just like a ton of space i got the crew cab so the amount of space this thing has is incredible. The under storage is really nice in this one. I really like in the leather. I've never had leather before. Definitely super blessed to, to get this truck. Also, here's the bed. Got the bed liner in the back. Got a little shovel back there right now. 
One kind of cool feature is if you press this button right here, the tailgate goes as it falls down, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, I know that some of you guys are asking for a walkthrough of my truck. So I figured I'd just throw that in there in this video. But yeah, I got the TRD 4x4 Off-Road Limited 2022 Toyota Tundra. If you guys are local, make sure you guys check out Frank's Toyota down in uh, National City, San Diego. The one thing that I really haven't done yet, and kind of go over my garage setup. So I got my Aussie Concept kayak folding trailer right here. And I don't have it fold up right now because I'm in tournament season and I go out a lot. So I have my kayak on the trailer right now. And then I got my P127 by Bonafide right here on the trailer. Got all my tackle boxes kind of organized. Kind of went through after the Delta and cleaned everything up over here. I like to call it kind of like my rigging desk. So it's, a, it's a, just an old computer desk that we had. I got my chair right here. I got my graphs and everything right here. I got my reels over here. Got all my rods. Kind of need some organization for my rods. I do have a little rod thing right here, but it, I don't know. It doesn't really work that well, and I have more than like six rods now. These are all my baits that I use. Let's just say I come up to an event, and I'm like, I want to use, you know, some Diablo worms or some Robo worms. And, I, and, it, and it helps me see like everything that I have. That way, if I go on Tackle Warehouse, make an order, I can come out to the garage and be like, oh wait, I do have some six inch Robos or I do have some Rage Tails. So I'm not like guessing what I have and like what I need. See everything that I own. And then I just kind of pick from the wall before I go out to the event. And that's really helped me a lot this year. I just kind of wanted to run down my garage. I also have like, all, like both my motor guides over here got my yak attack net and all my kind of miscellaneous stuff against this wall right here Hopefully adding some more Trophies to the wall right here because there's plenty of room for some big checks and everything right here And I keep all my rod tubes that I get I get well most of them So that way if I need to return a rod or someone needs a rod tube, I got some got some memorabilia with some stickers And of course the motor guide banner. So I just thought run you guys through like my garage setup Alrighty guys, well that does it for the Delta footage unfortunately. On day two, my GoPro ended up having some issues and it was more of my battery pack than my GoPro. I did end up catching a limit, pretty decent limit, but nothing to write home about on day two. I think it was around 77 inches or something like that. Kind of went back to the same area over there at a Cruiser Haven and ran some water that I felt were productive on day one and a little bit of some new water as well. Never really got that big bite. I, I did catch, I think like an 18 and a half on a chatterbait on day two and a couple bedfish. The cruisers that I saw on day one that were, you know, 20s, I just figured I would go back there and try to catch them on a Senko or something because they weren't locked on beds and it just didn't end up panning out. Overall, I feel like it was a great trip. Buddy Tim O'Connor drove with me there and back and we actually left Sunday after day two and got home Sunday night around midnight. It was just one of those trips where both of us were kind of on that time crunch. We just wanted to head up there and fish the Delta and, and it ended up panning out. We both caught fish. I think I ended up taking 15th place out of uh, 40. Uh, you know, some good AOI points, good points to make TOC at the end of the year because top 50 in AOI at the end of the year out of your best three events uh, qualify you for the championship. So just like in previous videos, I like to show kind of what I was catching them on. I was using the Cashin Worm and Jig Rod with like 17 pound fluoro, 7 3 to 1 SLX Shimano. All my bed fish were caught on this little guy right here. It's the River to Sea Nest Raider. And it's funny because the tail is usually about this long. And as you guys can see, that thing is bit in half. It also comes with four legs, and they took off one of the legs. But this color uh, at the Delta was, was awesome. Anytime there was a bed fish that was like locked on the bed, I knew if I threw this on that bed, it was gonna get bit. Unfortunately, I just didn't really see any like giants on beds. It was it was unfortunate. Again, I didn't have any practice at the Delta. They do not like this little guy right here. It just looked like a little lizard. I like it because it has a really heavy weight in the front and it's got a really nice stout hook that's exposed. So as soon as they would pick it up, I mean, the hook sets were just money. Last year, I was kind of bed fishing with a, a finesse rod and finesse gear and I lost a few fish, but like when I hooked these fish, it was a boat flip, no problem. I really, I really enjoyed throwing this thing out there at the Delta. I feel like now I have more confidence in another bed fishing bait and these little nest raiders guys, if you guys are looking for a new bed fish bait, go check out the river to see nest raider. Also, I wanted to give a huge shout out to one of my really good friends, Anthony Garcia. He won the Delta event. He is the Iron Man of the Delta. And I've been fishing with Anthony for a few years now. 
in my previous video when I went to Gunnersville, he was the guy that drove my kayak out to Gunnersville for me as I flew out there. And Anthony, man, congratulations. Just wanted to give you a shout out again. And if you guys want to hear how Anthony caught them in more detail, you guys could check out Bass Thumbs Fishing Podcast on the Paddle and Fin Network. It was my most recent episode. Uh, you guys can also find it on my Instagram account on uh, one of my recent posts. So far, we got two Ironman so far. We got John Monet who won the Paris event. We got Anthony Garcia who won the Delta event. Next up, we got San Vicente. So we'll find out who the Ironman is of San Vicente here pretty soon. And again, there's two KBF trails and a pro series as well at San Vicente. So there could be a possibility if someone were to sign up for all three events, yes, it's about a $700 entry fee, but if you do end up getting in all three and you sweep the field, you can walk away with around $12,000 if there's only like 40 or 50 anglers that sign up. So for 40 or 50 anglers to win like over $10,000, San Vicente in the next couple of weekends is going to be incredible. So if you guys haven't signed up yet, make sure you guys sign up for that. I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate your guys' support. Support means everything to me. And I really appreciate all the comments, messages, and the support for my podcast. Can't wait to be out on the water again. As always, keep your thumbs ripped, and I'll see you on the next one.